deep in the woods of rural England, former Special Forces machine gunner Bob Podesta aims to find the truth about Maxim's story by trying it for himself. What do you think of these ones, Bob? Uh, too straight, and even leaning over a bit. Yeah, get one with a bit of top heavy on it. He'll be assisted by Sean Hindle, also an ex-machine gunner in the British Army. Ah, what do you reckon? This looks like a good one. Yeah, it's got uh, plenty of tension on it, the way it's yeah. hanging. Yeah. Now all they need is a machine gun. This is a 1916 Vickers gun, a British Army variation on Hiram Maxim's design built by his London business partners. It's capable of firing 450 rounds per minute. But is that enough to topple a mighty Scots pine? Podesta aims to maximize his chances with a methodical approach based on years of experience. Firing in short bursts is the army approved machine gun technique. Continuous fire could overheat and distort the barrel, affecting accuracy. But Podesta must be careful. A rotating wheel in the firing mechanism could easily smash his knuckles. He's already weakened the right hand side of the tree. Now can he take out the left and the center? Every round is striking home. The thumping recoil of the barrel is clearly visible at the muzzle. Podesta ups the firing rate, sensing victory. Success, and they fired just 470 bullets. Well, that's done. The potential effect on any enemy is only too evident. See, some of the bullets are still stuck in the tree here. At are the, they? Yeah. yeah. Pull some out. Obviously, what they've done, they've uh, they've gone through and they've tumbled uh, tumbled as they've hit the tree after they've hit the tree. Yeah. So you can imagine what it's like when it hits a man, can't you? Mm.